Hey, welcome back out here to the Freedom Farm. I'm going to try to go over a little quickly what I have found out since getting started in shooting kind of seriously in January of 21, uh, the ear protection options that I've come across. So January 2021, first week, actually I think it was on January 1st or 2nd, uh, I ordered my rifle. So get, get it in and one of the first things that I needed was ear protection. So jumped on uh, like Academy, one of my trips over there, and just found, you know, the basic Walker uh, Walker's Razor ear protection, and you know these do great. Nothing uh, nothing wrong with them. There's just some better things out that I have found. So you know, shooting with them, they they seal well over your ears, but they're not the most comfortable. They feel terrible in the summer that it just sweat builds up in there uh, very unpleasant and shooting rifle you have the tendency to break that seal right there so I started looking at smaller options first thing I come across was these here from decibels so the idea of them is you mold this thing into the shape of your ear and it kind of locks it in place you know that's a great idea I like that idea um, I, I tried to get these with this little orange percussion uh, insert and they're supposed to allow normal talking voices to go through but loud uh, shooting sounds to not go through. Well, this muzzle brake on my rifle, it is extremely loud. So I built this with the idea of competition shooting and it puts out an enormous amount of uh, concussive blast and very, very loud. So this was hurting. Every time, oop, every time I tried to use these uh, decibels with my rifle, it was, it was just painful. That's all there was to it. Uh, so those things hurt. I tried a few different ways and pistol, they would be okay, but once I go to my rifle, that they, they were painful for me. So went back to searching, and as I'm sure you've seen, there's tons of advertisements for them, but the axles, um, I gave them a try. And, you know, I like them. There's a lot of things to like about them. Uh, they kind of stay in place very well with the way they wrap over your ears. Um, I like that it has a easy to use switches, so slide on slide off for the power you got volume up and down for the amplification you got bluetooth control on the other side and forward and back so these have easy to use controls downside is they are wired all right so that's got to stay on there i did a match where after running some pistol stages uh you went to a table and throw on a plate carrier and load up with rifle mags and go through the rest of the match with the rifle when i would put them on I would catch these wires and pull my ear protection out of my ears, have to stop and resituate everything. Um, I have noticed sometimes in the summer when I'm hot and sweaty running around a lot, uh, I do have to kind of press, keep smashing them in to try and keep them in place. And then on my rifle, sometimes the first shot will be painful. I will have some ringing for a little bit, um, but then they're all right after that. So, oops. So, the axles, they, they do a plenty good enough job. The trick is to get them in your ears all the way and then turn the power on. Don't turn the power on and then try to put them in. The, the interference is unpleasant, to say the least. So, just keep them powered off, get them in your ears, and then turn them on and they're good to go. These are good for a, a wide majority of the shooting I do, but the rifle stuff was getting painful. So I went looking more. And what I found now is these here. So Grizzly ears, they come with a nice case. You know, most places now I figured out packaging makes a difference. So Grizzly ears, now the little uh, storage and charging box very nice and simple 
uh, pop them open and there they are right there. So best thing about these, they are wireless. So all you gotta do, you know, do like any other uh, foam type ear protection, roll it between your uh, thumb and forefinger, get that foam smushed down and then go ahead and get them inserted into your ear. So you wanna get them slid into your ear like that and then get them all the way in and give them a 90 degree towards the back so you want to get them in and then turn them backwards and that'll kind of lock them in place now so far these have been excellent at staying put they do an amazing job at actually cutting the sounds so even with my rifle first time i shot my rifle my buddy was shooting a 6.5 creed with a suppressor next to me and what I was hearing inside these was just practically the same sound. It was impressive. So these get a full, here comes a, here comes some wind. Wow. You can just hear that rolling through the trees. But anyway, so these right now are definitely the top of my list for doing what I want them to do. Downside, they don't have as many adjustments. So there's no switches or buttons to push. You have one button on each that you gotta press and hold, double tap, or long press and hold. And you know, it keeps wanting to Bluetooth connect to my phone. It, there's a few things that are kind of quirky about them. Uh, you can't, at least from what I've found so far, you can't uh, turn the amplification down. It's either on or it's off. I wish I would be able to be able to like turn it down a notch or two just so it's not as strong of an amplification. Uh, first week I had them, I, I was kind of sick, so everything was vibrating and it, it sounded louder in my head than it actually was, but now that I'm over that little bug, uh, it, they're fine, but that's just one thing. There's a few downsides to this, but for what I want them for, which is to make that rifle easier to shoot, uh, nothing hanging around my neck, nothing to hit a uh, stock, when I come up to present either shotgun or rifle, these are, those things are winning it right now. So in my opinion, the decibels, I would not even waste your time with them unless you're only pistol shooting. Uh, these, I like the idea of them, the way they mold into your ear, but functionality wise, i am not been impressed with these, at least the ones that are supposed to allow talking. Um, the solid inserts might be okay, I didn't try those, but so far these are last in my opinion. You know, over the ears, they do the job. They're easy. Um, there's just better stuff out there now, but nothing wrong with them. The axles do a pretty good job on most every situation, but if you're looking for something that does not have wires and is just a little bit easier to uh, get around with, these Grizzly ears are impressively good so far. So, just want to give my opinion on what I have found so far trying different ear protection. And hopefully, what I've talked about will give you some kind of an idea on what you might want to try for yourself. If you got any questions about any of these, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Subscribe and check out, we got some more videos coming. Watch one of my last ones where I did the gauntlet run through here. That was my first test run through it went all right but it was super fun but super cold <laughs> so not a pleasant day but i had fun anyways well it's about to get dark and i want to get some shooting in so thanks for stopping by here at the freedom farm and come back on the next one see ya